So I want to show you uh, an interesting thing that you'll only ever come across once, but I think it's useful to know. Uh, it, it's a core jQuery thing, so if you're interested in how things work in the core, this will be pretty interesting to you. Let's say that basically the goal is we want to turn a regular JavaScript array okay, into a jQuery collection. What's the difference? Well, let's look at it. So we've got this method right here, var TDs, and again, if you've ever watched my previous videos, when I put a dollar sign in front of a variable, it means that it's signifying that this is a jQuery object, meaning I can do jQuery stuff onto it. Okay, So I'm expecting a J this to be a jQuery object. So I've made some functions here, grid.getCall.getTDs from TH. Okay, It's basically going to get a collection of all the TDs all right, that are in a TH. So if we go to this function down here, which is right here, it loops through, does some stuff, not really going to explain it. But basically what we're doing here is we find all the TRs, okay, and then we get all the TDs. Uh, well, you know what, I'll explain it, why not? We get the grid component, which is the table, the main table itself, just an HTML table element. And then we do this cool trick um, to get which element I'm in. So if we open this up, if I get, um, I'm going to throw errors, because, there we go. Okay, so if I get um, this TH, and I do, and I want to know that I'm in index 0, 1, 2, 3, right? I want to know I'm in index 3. There's no way I know that just by sitting here. I have to go get it. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because I want to loop through all the rows and go 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, th and then get this whole column. Okay? And I'm going to get that by the index. So to do that, you do a trick. You go this, that prev all, and you count that. Alright? It's a cool trick. So what that ends up being is this.prevall.length, and that gives me 3, the index that I'm on, right? Um, and then, so, so normally what you would do then is you're going to say, okay, I'm going to return an array back to the function, right? So I can iterate over my array. That's what you would want to do. So you say var TDs, and I can't have the dollar sign because I know this is not jQuery right now. Var TDs equals new array, okay? So now I'm going to loop through and basically get all my TDs. Okay, let me just clean these up get all my TDs, and I'm going to use just normal JavaScript array push, right? So this is my array. I'm pushing an element onto the array. This is simple JavaScript stuff. Then I have a full array. I'm going to return it. So if we look at what that looks like, so I know this is not jQuery right now, so I'm going to get rid of that dollar sign. So if we console.log TDs, okay, refresh, and go back here and hit that. Here's all of our TDs. We're like, okay, great. There's my jQuery collection, and there are all my TDs. Here's a problem though. Normally with jQuery, you can just straight go, okay, TDs. Well, I would normally get all this stuff, right? Let me get rid of that and go, okay, dot each, right? Function, whatever, to iterate over each of the elements, right? That's what I would normally do. So I'll say console.log this, which should give me each TD as I'm iterating. But what we find is that whoa, dot each is not a function. Now we know in jQuery dot each is a function, but here is the problem. Here's why that doesn't work. Because we don't have a jQuery collection. All we have is a JavaScript collection. It's not even a collection, a JavaScript array. See this, these, see these starting brackets? This is what a JavaScript array looks like. We have a JavaScript array of jQuery objects. Okay, so what we need to do, and, and let's compare that to a real jQuery collection. So basically, um, if we just use this console.log, we're just going to use jQuery's find method to get all of our TRs, just to compare and see what they look like. And you can see, this is what a jQuery collection looks like. Okay, and this is what we have. We got the wrong stuff. So let's learn how to convert this array of jQuery elements into a jQuery collection so we can return it. All right, so let's go back down to here. Uh, what we need to do is create a blank jQuery collection and input elements into that. To do that, you use the jQuery dollar sign and a parenthesis. I've created an empty jQuery collection. So if I put a dollar sign in now that I know I have a jQuery element. So this variable, dollar sign TDs, equals a blank jQuery. So now I'm pushing onto that element, right? But I'm doing something weird here. This is actually a jQuery element. So what I'm saying to my code here is put this jQuery element inside of my jQuery collection.
which doesn't actually make sense because a jQuery collection is a wrapper around uh, DOM elements. So if I actually save this and refresh it, you'll see that all it did was wrap jQuery around a bunch of jQuery elements. This is still not this. It's still not right. So what we need to do is actually get the DOM element of each of these guys. And to do that, we'll just say, okay, here's our jQuery element, and we'll just zero that, and that will get us the DOM element of a jQuery element. That's how you get a DOM element of a jQuery element. Now what we'll do is when we refresh, you can see that we've got, here we go, now we got the right shit. These are, this is now a jQuery collection, and because we have a jQuery collection, I can now go, put this dollar sign back, and I can now go uh, tds.each function whatever console.log this right and now once I do that and there we go I have I can now iterate all my objects now all this you're thinking oh well that's the way to do it right oh well, there was actually another way to do this before um, let's undo for a second and go back to the way we had it with the array so here's here's our array right let me just make sure console.log TDs so if I look at this, okay, so here's my array. You could use each in a different way. You could go dollar sign dot each, okay? So now we're eaching on jQuery, and then we're saying we're eaching the TDs at a function. And here's our element right here. And then we would say console.log elm. And there, well, okay, that's right. It's i and then elm and refresh and there we get the same result okay so you're thinking well, why didn't I do that in the first place this is I didn't have to change any of my code and this is really easy well the point of showing you this is to explain the core and to if you're making a jQuery plugin and you're supposed to return a jQuery collection so your users know what to do with it that's why you would need to know this so if you're doing that great if not you just learn something new